Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing off a bunch of secret training techniques that I've really only seen pros utilize. Now, unlike the normal creative map videos that you're all used to seeing, these practice methods are extremely new and unique. That means no generic aim trainers, no boring edit courses, no useless building drills, none of that crap. Everything I'm going to show here today will actually help you improve and are actually used by top tier pro players. There's a reason they don't show them on stream. Seriously though, these will probably be the most useful techniques techniques I ever show on my channel. No cap, man! Thus, I apologize for the cringe, and without further ado, let's get right on into it. Up first is the newest practice method that every pro player and their mother is obsessed with, 50 man moving zones. In case you guys did not know, Epic made a huge change in the last patch update that now allows for creative lobbies to hold up to 50 players. That's a lot of people. Pro players jumped on this change pretty quickly, a ton of maps have been made, in fact, you probably saw Clicks play on one recently, and I'm gonna show exactly why that is. Alright, so the way that you get into these really good 50 man custom moving zones, you actually need a custom some code from someone who's hosting. I will put a link to a discord that's really good, I might play in it later. It's called the Endgame Simulator. A ton of pros are in it, a bunch of big community figures, I'm even in it. It has people hosting really often and all you do, where it says creative, you want to go to the bottom right and press custom options, input whatever the code is, so if it's jerian12, I'll put that in. I'm then going to accept creative again, press play, but instead of going to create or play, I'm going to go to island code, press enter. And and I'm gonna copy paste this one. This is Enigma's map. It's really, really good. Probably the best one yet. Whoever's hosting should tell you what code to put in, like island code. Let's launch that bad boy up with absolutely nobody queued up. <laughs> Just me, myself, we'll start the match. And as you can see, I am in 50 player endgame zone wars. I actually did not know this, but there is matchmaking. I've heard it's really hard to get full lobbies with this. Just because it's not featured. You know what I should actually do? I should host one right now. So if you guys do not follow me on Twitter, you should. I'm about to host a 50 man moving zone wars for this video. I just put the code up. Oh my gosh. Let's see how fast this fills up. Again, follow my Twitter at it's Jarian. Hey, there we go. Another cute player. <laughs> I have 150,000 plus followers, but only nine people care to play with me. <laughs> almost at 50. There we go, 51. Hopefully some of you guys are in it. I guess I'll talk a little bit about why I like this so much. You guys will see the 50 man end games are crazy. <laughs> Look at all my brothers. You don't realize how many people 50 is until you see them all. Bro, there are so many people. This is hilarious. From what I've seen that end game discord, it fills up pretty quickly and it's also really good players. I know there's a lot of pros who play them. These are all it's Jerry and subscribers, so they're better than pros. This is where you spawn Everyone is near you. I do not want to get sprayed. I have two shotguns. I'm gonna drop that Nice Okay, the beginning of the matches are usually really laggy just because everyone's alive. Let me bounce. Oh my gosh This is basically the half and half zone. Holy. How does this look in my recording? Hopefully not too laggy what the? <laughs> people are teleporting, builds are randomly placing. It gets a lot better as people actually die. Remember though, this is part of the reason it's such good practice. These were how bad my FNCS semis and quarter games were. Yo, yo, chill, chill. I, oh, <laughs> I don't even know where I got shot from. How many people are alive? 26, you could call this the sixth zone. This is when it's more playable, as you can see. It's literally ridiculously stacked solo scrims that always run. There's never really any weight unless you die like me. You might die here, oh, you did. It always pulls up the hills just like in real games. Johnny Mustard, I blame you. 1v1, how is he not dead? What, what? <laughs> Aggro rocks, my boy. He won the first round. Look at the whole map. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Round two, you have the option for either shotgun. I'm gonna take the tack again. Not in zone, that guy is high ground. I got a pretty bad rotate actually. I'm gonna try to run it. I hear people, I see people. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. I need to make it to where it's not that laggy. Bounce. I should look for a pick here. Okay, that's a guy. We're chilling, we're chilling, and I got zoned. I wanna play one full end game out. I might have to go up. Oh yeah, I really gotta go up. It's a terrible lair. Oh, this is a bad lair too. Nice, nice, nice. And it goes back. That is not good. You're getting sprayed by height, chill. Bro, these zones move fast. 
Oh no, oh no, I'm choking. Up oh, 34th, wait, it says there's only three people alive. I placed fifth, come on. You guys know me, I could not go out like that. This game, I did save my bouncer. Anyone rotating late? Looks like we gotta use the bouncer. Nice, this whole side is the dead side. No! Bruh! Getting shot out from the ground. Nice. Nice. Need mats. Drop down. Ulti low. Bouncer. Oh no. I don't think I win heal off. Oh, let's go! Yes! I won my own game, even though I'm in like last place. So yeah, those are 50 man moving zones. They're basically the best solo end game practice you can get right now. They're also really, really fun. They're really easy to set up. Go follow me on Twitter in case I host more. With that being said though, I think it's time to move on to the next pro training technique. So next up, again, you're gonna have to go to your custom options. You are the person you're gonna train with and need a custom key. I'm gonna put in mine, Jarian12. Don't randomly put that in. I'm gonna queue up for arena solos and basically what this is you're gonna do it off spawn I have my duo rise he's gonna queue up hopefully and we're gonna do what all the pros do to practice their early games literally just play them out like we would an actual tournament I told them to land pleasant that's where we'll go first game probably the biggest reason I love practicing this way is because it's literally the most realistic practice you can get by the way where is rise where is he rise two people on the battle bus you also get to practice your drop which pretty much is impossible to do so in creative oh he's low is he wearing the same skin <laughs> let's get this bounty on rise <laughs> rise on youtube he's a good sniper that's all i'm scared for loadout is looking pretty shambles that's part of being a real match you're not gonna have great loot every single early game <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's cheating. Somebody banned this guy. Hopefully he went the other way. Oh, he saw the building. <laughs> Did I not hear him? This is why this practice is so good, though, and why so many pros do it. Oh, he's trying to blow me up. Yes. I really need to farm. I never have enough mats to fight. In creative, you always have enough mats to fight. You have unlimited materials. Oh, oh. I only have one build. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. How did I not die? And how did he not die? Yes! Yes! I gotta go message him. You suck, noob. You are getting dropped. He said queue up again. Oh gosh, he wants to go to Salty. Apparently, Rice changed his mind. He now wants to go to Misty. I think he's just taking the spots that I barely land at and telling me to go there. That's the only way he can beat me. Like I was saying though, this is the most realistic early game practice you can get. You get everything from the RNG of bus routes. This is a different bus route than the last one. You get the RNG of loot. You gotta work on your drop, which is honestly the most important thing for the early game. I always see tons of EU pros on Twitter like Noah Rayleigh. That dude is like the best EU fighter. He's always asking for people to help him do 3v3 off spawn customs. That's what these are. Did he already land? Oh, he's right there. He's got the god drop. Not gonna lie, that does make me scared a little bit. I am not good at Misty. Oh, okay. Solid loot. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I think he's on the roof. Oh, he's got peppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Bro, it's always no match. I don't farm enough. 
<laughs> I hate him so much. He had so many mats. He played that really well. Ah, oh, to decide who is the better off spawn fighter. Me and Rise are doing one last fight. We're going to lazy this time. Oh gosh, he queued up. I might just go for the 50-50. We'll have to see. I don't know where to go at all. Ooh, I should go for Benji's building. Oh wait, he is. He had a really good drop. Oh my gosh, he's so bad. Your boy took the W. Moving on to the third practice technique. This one is a simple map that I kind of did show before. It's just so good and all the EU pros use it. Here we go. Turtle Wars FFA by Martos. This is the best box fighting practice. It's way more realistic than the boring peanut butter peaks. Code will be down below as well as up top where it always is. I'm going to queue up in the matchmaking. This usually does fill up. Not all 16 players, but you'll get three or four gods. Anyone who knows Martos or watches Martos, they're usually pretty good at the game. So he did add the lever shotgun. Let me use the lever. Cracked. Oh, oh, I just got put in the blender. I just got destroyed. Your boy literally just got pieced up. Oh, it's breaking. Nice. I can't talk. There's so many people. What I've been trying to say, though, is this is such good box fighting practice. All of your fights in game, really close quarters, essentially box fights. The difference here is you can actually move around. My aim, my aim. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. And speaking of aim, this is great aim practice with any shotgun. Let me switch to the charge. Themed aimbot. Low key, this actually helps your movement as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. My dodging skills. I'm not sure how much wood you start with, but I have 900. That might just be from Siphon. Look, I'm playing normal box fights. This is all they do. <laughs> Let me finish off this segment with a clip. If I get a clip, I will be very happy. Oh, I was going for the clip. Oh, I was going too hard. Buzzer beater. <laughs> My clip. <laughs> The fourth and final pro practice technique. This one is really weird because it does not seem like a lot of pros would do it, but you saw BHE. That was not a mistake. Noah Rayleigh, who's like the best fighter in the world. I talked about him before. He always plays BHE creative fill, and I'm not joking. He simply loads up the map and then runs over to the matchmaking. <laughs> I've seen him do this pretty much every creative stream. It's literally BHE creative fill. Like there's nothing crazy going on. On here but as you'll see it's pretty useful just to practice your aim your edits your build it's also really fun Hello? what's up man they're all grabbing pups usually noah rayleigh will grab weapons that are actually in the match you sound like um a youtuber i just can't name it um people say that i sound like it's jerrion oh my god no way <laughs> no way there's no chance yeah I, s I sound like him right yeah <laughs> Like, do you watch his videos? Yeah, I watch them all the time, bro. <laughs> Literally. Me too. You do too? Yeah. Rock, I'm like over a year now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, That's awesome. I, I swear to God, if this is actually you, I don't know. I'll, that'd I'll be crazy. I also watch your video uh, oh, 25 clips. Right. Last whole Yeah. Oh, okay, um, yeah. His latest video, not mine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is the fastest keyboard? Um, I use the Apex Pro. I think that's the fastest, but I'm not sure. But what about the DK61? Yeah, I've heard that's fast. I think he made a video on that. God, you just sound f***ing identical. <laughs> wait, are you, wait, are you him? Yeah, I'm the Zadie who's shooting at you. Who's your favorite pro? Um, that's a good question. I like Booga. Okay. Your laugh is... Okay, I'm just... <laughs> I also like Epic Whale. Do you uh, watch him or know him? I do. He's I do, really I good. Uh, if you are, actually, it's scary. I'm, I'm too f***ing high right now. Oi, f*** you guys. Oi! Are, are you a cord? Um... Uh, According to what? What if I told you I was its Jerry? Okay. Would you believe me? Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Peace control. Fucks like fish, dog. Fucks like fish. I mean, you have mechanics like him. You're like a. You think uh, he has good mechanics? Yeah, hundred percent. Let's go. Oh, okay. he's gonna save for a oh, that's you. later. Man. Oh, that's my. Oh. Yeah, box like fish, except you missed the clip. You missed the clip, Jerry. You missed the clip. <laughs> Bubble the bag. Oh, I just got clipped. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, never mind. Right. I got him. Hey, you know that little cringe you do every time you pull out your camera? That <laughs> what? Like, you said it yourself, bro. I've always wanted to ask you this if I ever yeah. mention this to me. I'm not yeah. trying to be toxic. Oh, or God. Anything oh, God. Sort. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, why is your voice so monotone? <laughs> uh,
That really did not go the way I expected. I didn't think people would recognize me that quick. That's funny though. A good way to make friends and to practice creative fail BHE. Overall guys, those are all the secret training techniques that only pros use. Hopefully you haven't seen them before. Let me know down below if you have. Also let me know down below what you do to improve. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully you guys bought the Zaddy skin. That skin is fire and so is using code Jarian. Yeah! Otherwise, that's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. Thank you.